your politicians and others, you are uh, wondering what they're going to do, how they're going to create a new reality here upon the planet Earth. Is it going to be a change that is going to be dramatic in terms of our financial relationships and such? Is it going to be a disruption of the food chain that is going to destroy the planet Earth and make people uh, live life in fear and such and comply with the government, etc., etc.? All these things are possible, yes. These are things that are in the works that people are trying to create, not only the politicians, but those who fear them because they are uh, saying, well, if it happens, I'll just comply because I'm terrified. I don't want to be killed for uh, my perspective on things. I'll just uh, do what the government says I should do, etc. But there will be many others who will say, you know something? It's all fine and dandy what they are trying to do, but we still have the love within our hearts. We still can go out and care for each other. We can still help and nurture each other. We can offer food to those who need it. We can also find ways to plant our own uh, fields of food so that we don't have to find this great dependency upon the government uh, to provide for us the very uh, bare minimum of what we need here. Your politicians are just doing what they are doing. They're striving to fit everybody into a box. They're trying to make everybody comply. They want everybody to be treated equally, 100%, all around, uh, except for themselves, oftentimes. This is as old as time, and it will continue on for a while, perhaps another 20 years or so, but people will start to get sick and tired of it, and people will really start to see how truly you need each other. And how truly that can only happen by being of service to the heart of God and bringing that to the surface through you by looking inside of self and realizing that everything that happens in your life happens inside first and is then expressed in the world. So know that your world, yes, in turmoil and such, is also growing and expanding in beautiful ways more people aware of each other than ever before. And some of the muck is coming up to the surface to be cleared out. Not because it's going to take over. It's going to be cleared out by the human heart, by the love of God within you. So when it seems like disaster is on the horizon and everything's falling into decay, please know, my dear friends, the only thing that's falling into decay is the old way of doing things, things that no longer serve you upon the earth. And that new experiences of self and of others, a desire to cooperate and communicate with each other in a wide variety of ways, celebrating the diversity and the unity therein, is the direction your world is going in. Take heart, my dear friends. You're all gonna end up living happily ever after. All are going to have a happy ending. All are going to return to the greater awareness that you are birthed from the heart of God. And all of you will eventually come to understand how much God loves you. And that that has never stopped. Because it is the one greatest force in the universe that permeates all of life. We love you so very much, my dear friends. We are constantly reaching out to you. Accept our embrace. Know that we love you. And um, go your way in peace, love and harmony, for life is indeed a joy. And all you have to do as you enjoy the journey to your own hearts and certainly to your enlightenment is simply lighten up just a little bit more. God bless you indeed.